We'll look at Tuesday evening. We've had another warm day out there today with temperatures in the mid to upper 70s. Some of us even getting back into the low 80s. Our temperatures, though, they're going to drop overnight tonight into the low 60s. So a comfortable mild night out there across southern West Virginia. We'll have partly cloudy skies. You can see future casts showing the cloudy conditions at times across the area. We should stay mostly dry. Futurecast trying to show just a slight isolated shower maybe across Greenbrier and Monroe counties. But other than that, things are going to stay partly cloudy. Temperatures tomorrow by the afternoon hours, you'll notice by lunch, will be right at 70 in Beckley, 74 in Pineville, upper 60s, Lewisburg and Union. This is all due to more cloud cover tomorrow. So expect more clouds tomorrow, a partly sunny to maybe even mostly cloudy to all cloudy day out there. Notice the rain will hold off until we get into probably after say 10 11 o'clock tomorrow night. The rain you start to see showing up on future cast is actually associated with an area of low pressure just off the Florida coast that's moving in our general direction. It's not anticipated to become a tropical system, but it will bring some tropical moisture into our forecast. Notice some of the reds and oranges showing up that would indicate maybe some more moderate to heavy pockets of rain showing up on future cast. Now earlier the models kind of had more of this heavier access just to the east. The latest runs are keeping a little bit farther to the west, so that's something we're going to have to track to see exactly maybe where those heavy bands set up for any flooding potential. But notice it will be quickly in here and then quickly out of here. By Thursday morning, we're going to start to see some drier conditions. You notice on future casts, we are starting to see that low pressure. This is where I was talking about. Watch it kind of move to the north. It comes across parts of South Carolina, North Carolina. This is tomorrow afternoon and then notice it moves in overnight tomorrow night into early Thursday across southern West Virginia, bringing with it some showers and storms and then quickly is moving on up to the north. So the best chance of rain, of course, we're not tracking much in the way of any rain out there for tonight. And then tomorrow you'll really start to see a spike in the activities. We go into the afternoon and evening and then going into the overnight hours, things will quiet down for early Thursday. Rainfall amounts, of course, will be very dependent on the exact track of the low. Any shift west or east will make a whole difference. So right now the heaviest axis of rain looks to be across Wyoming, McDowell, Tazewell counties, and maybe just to the west of there with lighter amounts off to the east. If the track shifts back to the east a little bit, of course, the heaviest axis of rain will also shift back to the east. So that's something we'll have to track. Flood threat tomorrow is across our far eastern counties, a marginal risk. Tomorrow we're kind of mostly all under that marginal threat. Winds will also pick up a little bit when that system moves in. You'll notice Wednesday night into Thursday, wind gust approaching maybe 35, if not 40 miles an hour, but it's just with that low pushing in, and then it quickly will start to diminish. Rainfall amounts over the next seven days look to average anywhere between maybe three quarters of an inch to up to an inch. Temperatures over the next couple of days will be near or above average, and we'll see a slight dip going into the weekend before we warm back up. So notice the clouds pretty thick tomorrow, but we do start to introduce the chances of some showers. Here's your seven day forecast 74 tomorrow, 79 on Thursday with showers and storms continuing into Friday. Showers likely for Saturday as temperatures cool down to near 70. Upper 60s Sunday and Monday, lots of sunshine, overnight lows. They're mild in the 60s, but they're going to dip into the 40s for early next week. 70s return by Tuesday.